Welcome to this box opening here on Magic Man Games. My name is Zach. Thank you for joining us for this um, lovely opening of Ikoria Lair of Behemoths. We're so excited for this one. This is actually uh, one of my favorite sets um, recently, so I'm very excited to open another box of this um, and get to do it with you guys here. Um, as always, this uh, Magic the Gathering related content is sponsored by Wizards because we are part of the creator program, so thank you to them for allowing us to be part of their program and get to do cool uh, and exciting stuff like this. Um, we are going to be, with being part of that creator program, we are going to be giving away some arena codes um, with this video. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video to check out how you can enter in and get some cool arena stuff if you play online in arena. We also stream over on our Twitch channel weekly. We stream Magic on Thursdays, D&D on Saturdays, and board games on Tuesdays. Check the information in the description below to find out more on how you can join into all our live content as well. Um, if you guys are interested, join in on the Magic Man Games community and join our Discord. Again, the link will also be in the description below for that as well. And to enter in for the arena, uh, arena codes, you will need to join the Discord because that's where we'll be um, getting them sent out and things like that. So jump into the Discord over there and uh, then you can be involved in what we do. And if there's, you know, if you enjoy this content or want to see more stuff like this, um, we want to hear from you guys. So that is the best place to get a hold of us. Let us know what you guys think. And you know, we want to make sure that we make content that you guys enjoy to watch. So jump in the community over there and become a part of what we do. So with all that out of the way, let's get to the box opening. All right. Uh, so I did, um, I, I did open this a little bit ahead of time uh, to find the box topper. I got, I got, I know, I know. I'm sorry. I know. Uh, we opened uh, we opened it ahead of time to see what the box topper was, and of course it was the beautiful Dorat, the perfect pet, the Sprite Dragon um, Godzilla reprint, which you know not necessarily the best one of the um, the Godzilla series, but still very uh, very shiny, very beautiful art on this one, uh, very cool. So all right, into the packs. Here we go. All right, pack number one. Let's see what we get in our first pack of the day um, of course these ones are in backwards so we're going to see the rare first it's uh, Karuga um, of the what is it Karuga of the macro sage that's how you pronounce it. Wow, I'm gonna get the pronunciations of these completely wrong just just heads up on that you know it happens I'm very bad at um, pronouncing magic the gathering cards um, of course, the, some of the other little um, <clears throat> uncommons here, we've got Valiant Rescuer, which is a nice one, and most of the other commons. Um, there's some interesting ones in here, but the ones that we are looking for, of course, are the alternate arts. Migratory Great Horn is what we got on this one. Not anything overly spectacular, but um, still, uh, I love the art style on these. These are just a beautiful, um, beautiful art style on these. And I think they're really, really cool. So I like to see them, even even in the common slot, I still like to see the, the alternate arts there. All right, pack two. Again, they're in backwards. I see a foil, foil Savvy Sabertooth. Nothing too spectacular, but very neat art on that one. I like the foiling. That art is gorgeous. Um, but our mythic, first mythic of the box is Cheville, which is gorgeous. Uh, let's see if we have any no alternate arts in that one. So we'll set those aside. Pack three. Let's see if we can pull some some of the good, beautiful stuff there. Get the land out of the way. Kolga Titan Ape uh, is another very interesting, um, very very interesting rare. There's a lot of interesting ones that come out of the set, and I really do appreciate the fact that this was way. Uh, should, should we say out of the box um, for how they did it? Very, very different kind of feel for the set, and I absolutely love it. Dire Tactics, a great, great removal card, which I will set out because that's going to go in a deck that I've got for sure. Um, no, uh, none of the uh, the alternate arts in that one, but that's quite all right. There'll be plenty more to come. Uh, next pack here, Crystalline Giant. A very that one is a weird card. Love it, um, but boy, that is a uh, that is a mouthful of text to read through on that one. All right, on to the next pack. Another set of those those tokens, which are nice. Uh, Hunted Nightmare. Um, three mana, four, five, Menace. 
This one, I have a feeling, is a very uh, underrated, underlooked, uh, or overlooked card, I should say. Um, I have a feeling this one's going to be a very, very good card for, maybe not necessarily standard, but definitely commander. That is definitely a commander staple right there. I have a feeling um, that's going to be something. Not necessarily expensive, but definitely something that a lot of people are going to put into a lot of decks, I think. All right, next pack. Ooh, foil Zenith Flare. That I am excited to see. Zenith Flare is actually one of the more, uh, uh, the better uncommons, I think, in the set um, with the cycling mechanic. I think this one actually might be a little bit up there. Um, not too overly expensive, but foil is always gorgeous, and the art on that, the foiling is just beautiful. Um, our rare, though, is Offspring's Revenge. Uh, another mildly interesting card. I think there's a lot of weird rares in this set. That just, I think, are going to have to find their home. Probably Commander. This is a very Commander-oriented set, I think. Um, going through the pack, still no other of, the, still more, no more of those uh, alternate arts. I did open another box before, and I got quite a few of those alternate arts, which are, again, absolutely gorgeous. Um, next pack, more tokens. A rare is Yorian, the Sky Nomad. I think the only commander that is still, or the uh, the only companion, uh, sorry, that I think is still going to see a lot of play after the rules change, um, because I think Yorian just doesn't really care about the fact of the additional cost. I think this is the only one that's probably going to still see um, play after that. Nothing else interesting in that pack. On to the next one. Ooh, foil of the uh, alternate art cloud piercer. That, that is going, that is gorgeous. Look at that. That is just, that is something right there. That's going to go in a binder, I think, and be a, be something to display. Uh, the rare for the pack is classification. Um, you know, there's not much that... <laughs> I don't know what to say about this. It is one of the most ridiculous enchantments, and there are a couple ways to potentially break it in standard. I think it's too slow, but there is ways to get that out at instant speed during attacks and uh, one-shot your opponent. It's funny. Uh, we did try that in our um, early access for Ikoria event, which if you get a chance, check out that video. Um, we did try it unsuccessfully, but we did try it, and there's other... Uh, Better ways to do it, I think, that are, we didn't explore, which I think might have to try that again in one of these arena videos. Um, Bastion Remembrance is one of the uncommons here. That's pretty good, um, which is a very, a very, very, again, um, I think, underrated card in this set. Bastion Remembrance is very, very good. On to the next pack here, and our rare is Dranith Magistrate. This one is... Um, this is a thing. <laughs> um, commander, this hurts and is a major tax in Commander. This is a, I think this is going to be a Commander staple um, for white um, going forward. I think this is an amazing staple for that. Um, our One of our alternate arts is Lord Dracus, which that is, this is one I actually haven't seen yet um, in alternate art. And that is a, that's beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous alternate art there. Um, another alternate art, Cloud Piercer. This one, non-foil, though. So, uh, you know, we got a little bit of both, I guess. That's pretty cool. Um, all right. I have noticed that when you do get those, you know, alternate arts, they tend to come, um, you know, very much in a, a grouping. Um, I've seen two to three in a pack, um, and then just other packs just have none. So, very, very interesting how they kind of group them together there. Um, get rid of the tokens. The Ozolith is our rare in that one. Not too bad. Hey, look, there's our uh, the non-Godzilla version of Sprite Dragon. To be, in all brutal honesty, I think this, I like this art better uh, for Sprite Dragon than Dorat, but the Godzilla cards, I mean, come on. They're Godzilla cards. We have our own Godzilla in, in, you know, in the studio. So, I mean, come on. Gotta love the Godzilla cards. Um, no other alternate arts in that one, so we'll move on to the next pack here. Uh, we have, of course, the Shark NATO token, which is uh, Shark NATO. <laughs> um, unpredictable Cyclone, the cycling um, weird uh, ridiculousness. Um, 
Very, very interesting card. I don't know if it'll see a play in standard. I think I have seen one or two decks that try to make it work uh, with some f decency, but I think they're just too slow to really make any sort of um, impact on standard. Our uh, alternate art uh, here was uh, Porcu, Porcu Parrot. That was a very interesting one. Is there any other alternate arts in there? No, no other alternate arts. We'll set that one aside. Next pack. All right, more of the tokens land and Lutri the Spell Chaser, our rare, uh, the companion, the sad otter, who's banned in, banned, banned in, in where he's going to see play. Sad. First time we get an otter, banned, of course. Of course. Heartless Act, one of the better removal cards, I think, in the set, which isn't too bad. No alternate arts there, though, so on to the next pack. All right, and Song of Creation as our rare, which is a um, very, very interesting rare. Um, there is quite a few decks that build around it um, with some interesting success. Uh, I mean, I think if you're going to play Song of Creation, you definitely need... Um, quite a bit there. So I think we've seen, what have we seen? We've seen one mythic so far, one mythic. So still, hopefully we'll get more mythics here coming. On to the next pack. And a feather token. All right, I like those. Okay, foil swamp. Interesting, I love the foil lands. Um, we did get our rare being the altar art gem razor, um, which is absolutely gorgeous. Um, no other alternate arts in there, though, so we'll move on to the next one. On to the next pack. Uh, second Mythic of the Box, uh, Barakos, Apex of Forever. And, and of course, the best land, the best land, don't forget, Evolving Wilds. Evolving Wilds. There's many of you agree with me. Evolving Wilds. Best land. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no alternate arts there, so we'll move on to the next pack. Let's see if we can hit another uh, another mythic here, or some interesting alternate arts. I see an alternate art here. Uh, Foil Mythic, Luminous Broodmoth. There we go. That is a nice hit there. Um, Foil Luminous Broodmoth. Great Foil Mythic there. And the rare is the um, Mythos of Baracko. So... Very, very interesting that they pair right together there. I'm going to see a good um, uh, Uncommon Whisper Squad, a very underrated common in the pack. And we do have our alternate art, Cavern Whisperer. Again, I love those alternate arts. I wish that they would do that as the showcase cards um, going forward, kind of just that comic book style art. Um, very, very gorgeous. Uh, another foil, Cavern Whisperer. Not overly great, but something interesting. Um, vicious uh, a voracious great shark as our rare in the pack. Um, another zenith flare there. Um, non foil this time though, so sad day. We want the foils and only the foils. <laughs> All right, on to the next one. The most worthless advertising cards. Get them out of here. Uh, go for blood as a foil and another mythic, Rial the Everwise. This is uh, a very, very good mythic, I think. Um, very, very playable in not only a standard environment, but in um, Commander as well. There's definitely many, many ways that you can make that work. Um, Uncommon Flourishing Fox is pretty good there. Uh, doesn't appear any other of the alternate arts, so we'll move on to the next pack. Looks like we're about probably about halfway through the box here. Still got a little ways to go. Uh, rare for the pack, Titan's Nest. Um, which is a um, very, very interesting card with some of the spoilers that have come up. Very, very interesting card there for the new uh, Core 21 spo spoilers. Um, our alternate art, uh, Insatiable uh, Hemophage. Hemophage. I'm gonna, I said, I've told, told you, I'm going to mispronounce these badly every time. Don't worry, don't worry, there'll be more. Um, all right, on to the next pack here. I think so far this has actually been a pretty decent box. The uh, the Luminous Broodmoth Foil Mythic is pretty, pretty, pretty decent there. Um, rare for the pack is Whirlwind of Thought. Um, great uh, rare for War Commander, I feel. Um, no other alternate arts. On to the next pack. So let's see what we get here. More junk. Get that out of here. 
Uh, rare C Dasher Octopus. Um, probably the best mutate card um, in the bunch. Uh, Curious Obsession on a Body. Curious Obsession was broken when it first came out. Just why do you put it on a body? Why? Why do you put it on a body? I don't know. Um, no other alternate arts in that one. On to the next pack. All right. And rare is Gyruda Doom of Depths. Um, another great companion card. I think this one's going to still be um, a played companion, but I don't know if we'll see it as a companion. Most of the time when you play Gyruda, you have a playset in the deck total. So I have a feeling we're just gonna see a shift probably more towards just that in general. Um, no other alternate arts that appears in the pack. On to the next one. All right, uh, rare in the pack, Death's Oasis. Um, another decent card. I think, again, I have a feeling more probably towards commander cards than anything. Um, we do have one alternate art in this pack, Dream Tale Heron. Um, very interesting art on that one. I do like uh, I, I do like that art. I have that's another one that I haven't quite seen yet. So um, very, very nice to see. I think I'm gonna try to collect all of these. Um, I still got my other box that I had opened uh, when I first got it and had some interesting ones in there. So, uh, rare in the pack, Extinction Event. Um, decent board wipe, I think. And I think that one's going to probably play well into Commander. If you can definitely, if you can build around it, Commander, I think, is going to see um, heavy play with Extinction Event. Uh, next pack here. Uh, token in the pack, the Catbird. Look at, look at that. Just look at how pretty... Catbird, he's just, he's so, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm enamored by things. Uh, rare in the pack, Yadaro Wandering Monster, um, the Dirtle Turtle. Gotta love the Dirtle Turtle. Um, let's see here, no, doesn't appear any alternate arts in the pack. Moving on to the next one. Another Catbird token, and Foil Savvy Triome. Oh, look at that, double Triomes! Foil Savvy Triome and non foil Savvy Triome. Savvy, sav Savvy, Savvy. Uh, pronunciation. Same pack, foil and non foil version. That, that right there is a hit, I think, on these. The Triomes, I think, are going to be great cards going forward. Um, th those are, these are great lands. I, I think, again, when I think everybody saw them, they were kind of like, eh, I don't know. But the fact that they have the land types. And it doesn't matter. Put them in play. They, tap, they come in tapped. There's other worse lands that come in tapped. Plus, you can cycle late game if you need to. They're great, great cards. Um, let's see. Anything else? Any interesting in the pack? Nothing else just interesting in that pack. Uh, we're getting down there. Let's pull Let's pull the rest of the packs out and see how many we got left. Get the box out of here. We got a small stack left here. Looks like uh, was it three, six, nine, ten packs left. Let's see if we can get another uh, another set of those Triome lands. That was a that was a, a pack for sure right there. Um, foil rare, uh, Lutri the Spell Chaser, another uh, great foil, beautiful beautiful foil, but uh, sad sad day. Sorry, Lutri. Foil uh, Lutri the Spell Chaser, um, followed by Luris of the Dream Den. Um, very very good card there um as we go into we've got alternate art Huntmaster liger um uh, very very pretty alternate art there and another foil uh or another not not sure not foil another alternate art uh cavern whisperer there love those alternate art cards i really wish that they would continue to do those in the next set here um and we have an alternate art zagoth triome that is pretty uh, this is actually the second alternate art triome that I have, and of course it is the same triome. I wish I had more, but alternate art Zagoth triome, um, gorgeous rare for the pack there. There's the other otter, uh, thieving otter. Um, sadly, I think thieving otter is going to see a little less play than um, Lutri would have, but <sighs> Lutri, you're still you're you're in my heart, Lutri. You will always be, always have a place in my heart. All right, on to the next one here. Uh, Foil Blossoming Sands, nothing too uh, major there, but Slither Wisp as the rare. Uh, gorgeous, beautiful rare there. Um, I think that's probably going to see a decent amount of play. I think it already kind of has um, in those uh, Flash-style decks. 
Uh, no alternate arts. So on to the next pack here. We've got a Mythos of Net Net Nethroy. Net I'm gonna mispronounce these. I told you. Told you I'm gonna mispronounce them. Um, another Mythos there, uh, which is uh, great. I love the Mythos cycle. I think some of them, of course, are much better than others. Um, being the blue Mythos, I think, is probably um, the better one of the set. But you know. My personal opinion, we'll see how that actually stacks up against, you know, what actually happens there. Um, foil uh, Sanctuary Lockdown, uh, which is pretty good foil uh, there. And Kahira, uh, another great companion um, in rare there. Great pull there. Um, a alternate art, Majestic Oricorn. Oricorn, yeah. Love those alternate arts. Let's see if we get any other ones in the pack. No other alternate arts in the pack. All right. Five packs to go. Here we go. Almost done to the box. Let's see if we can pull another mythic. Um, another uh, another good rare. Quartzwood Crasher. I don't think it's going to see a ton of play, but it's definitely um, a nice little rare there. Ch uh, Channeled Force is a good uncommon in the set. I think that's going to play well with Riel, um, as well as many, many other strategies. I think that in Commander, that discard strategy is, is definitely something that you kind of want to take advantage of. Um, all right, so foil uh, generals enforcer, not a bad foil there, but our rare is the Everquill Phoenix, which I think, um, again, I think an underrated rare in the set um, because of the fact that it can, when it, it's the feather tokens can target any Phoenix card, I think that that's where it's a little underrated because you can hit um, some of the other Phoenixes in the set or in other sets too. Um, Parcel Beast um, as our um, alternate art there. Another lovely alternate art. Uh, three packs to go. Let's see if we can get another amazing good hit here. Uh, another, um, the alternate art, Savvy Trium. That is, okay, so in the packs, we had a regular, regular Savvy Trium, foil Savvy Trium, and alternate art Savvy Trium. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'll take it. Savage, I mean, that is that is a very interesting. This is like a very reminiscent of a different box that I opened where um, we got to see basically every version of um, the... So we had the Rodan um, Godzilla card as well as that the Apex we had in both regular and alternate art. So that was interesting. Another alternate art, um, Vulpkeet. Two packs left. See if we can pull any any other interesting things out of here. We've got a foil adventurous impulse and the non-alternate art gem razor. Uh, that's pretty good there. All right, one pack left. Final pack. Will it be another amazing double triome hit? Maybe. Probably not. We'll see. That was that was a that was an interesting pack there for sure. But. Um, Inspired Ultimatum. I love this card. This is a great, I think probably one of the, out of the Ultimatums, I think this is one of the the, the better of them. Um, inspired and ru 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 Ruinous, Ruinous Ultimatum, if I can speak properly. I think we're the two good Ultimatums out of this. Um, so it's nice to see an Inspired Ultimatum coming out there. Uh, no other alternate arts though. So that um, is going to conclude this box. We had some very gorgeous stuff. A lot of the alternate art um, style cards, which are gorgeous. We managed to pull four of the triumphs, three savvy triumphs, savvy triumphs, I, I, I don't know. Um, one being foil, That's just, I think this is great. Um, foil luminous brood moth is pretty good. Foil zenith flare, there's some There's some good mythics in here, good rares. Um, I think it was a great box in general, so that was that's awesome. Um, let me know what you guys think. Comment, send some, put some comments down below. Let me know what you guys think of the box and, and what you thought were some of the better pulls in the box. Um, so that's going to do it for this box opening. But, of course, we need to get to the Arena Code giveaway. So here's how the Arena Code giveaway works. Head over to our Discord. Uh, make sure you join over there. Link will be in the description below. Uh, but head over to the Discord. There is a channel under the Magic the Gathering subsection there um, that is for the Arena Code giveaway. Jump in that channel and post a name of one of the alternate art cards that we opened. Any one of them, post the name of the alternate art cards that we opened in this box. Um, make sure that it is a different one though. If someone has already used that, you cannot use that name. You gotta post a different name of the alternate art cards. Um, 
there will be a limit to the number of codes given away so keep checking back um, to make sure that that limit hasn't run out we're probably it's probably gonna be 10 um, but if we have some extras we'll make sure to throw them in there if we have the ability to throw some extras in there um, we will um, there's also a time limit the time limit is 10 we start another giveaway for a different um, a different arena give code giveaway so you have until then um, to post in that channel um, an alt a name of an alternate art card one of the cartoon uh, that comic book style art gorgeousness that I love in this set um, post the name of one of those cards in there and you'll get yourself one of the uh, arena codes that we get to give away because we are part of the uh, Wizards Creator Program and our sponsored Wizards of the Coast so thank you to them for allowing us to have codes to give away to you guys um, but don't worry if you do miss this one there will be plenty more um, coming up again join the discord check in that channel for more information on when new giveaways happen there will be plenty more of these to come so if you miss this one don't worry jump in and check out for the next one. So thank you guys for joining us uh, for this box opening. Much, much appreciated that you got to hang out here. And hopefully you got some to see some interesting stuff. I know I'm pretty happy with this. Um, there were some pretty, pretty interesting cards in there. So um, thank you again for joining us out. And if you um, want to support the channel, many ways you can do so. Find all that information in the description below. And until next time, wash your hands, stay safe. And may you draw better than I normally do. Uh, if you guys know I watch and I do. And hopefully you get some good pulls in your boxes too. So thank you again. Until next time, we'll see you guys later.